In today's lesson in App Inventor, we're going to be creating a rocket altitude calculator. So we're going to be using a formula that will calculate the altitude of a rocket when the trackers are on opposite sides of the launcher and align with the wind. So basically we're going to be using a formula um, that you guys have, that handout that you use in Ms. Schultz's class. And we're going to set up a, an app that will calculate the altitude for you. Uh, using distance ratio of angle 1 and the ratio of angle 2. So let's get started. Go to my projects. Going to click on new and let's name this project um, altitude calculator. As we always do, we're going to be adding in our components first. Let's start by changing up the screen name. We'll call it the Altitude Calculator. And we'll start by adding in all of our components. So we'll start by going and getting the label and dragging it onto our screen. And we're going to rename this one Distance Label. and under text it'll say distance and you can go ahead you can change the font size I'm gonna put it at 20 underneath that we're going to have a text box let's rename the text box distance text box and remember you don't want to put any spaces here and we don't need a hint so let's just go ahead and erase that we'll add another label and we'll rename this label this one's going to be called ratio A1 for angle 1 and the text for our label let's name it ratio A1 equals there we go. And we'll put in another text box. And this text box will be ratio A1 text box. And you know what? Let's go back to ratio 1 here. Let's keep all the font sizes the same. So we'll put it at 20. And we're going to insert another label. This will be ratio 2. So we rename this one ratio to A2 label. And then let's change the text on it to ratio A2 is equal to. And let's change the font size to 20. And let's insert another text box and rename the text box ratio A2. and we need one more label this is going to be the result label so rename it result label and change the text to total altitude and then we need a button and that's going to be our um, calculate button so let's rename it. We'll call it um, Calculate Altitude. Calculate Altitude button. And then for the text, we'll change the text to Calculate Altitude. And let's make sure all the font sizes are at 20 here. I'll go back, make sure they're all at 20 so it looks nice. Okay, so right now we have all of our components. 
Now we need to go in and start setting up our global variables. So if you haven't, go ahead and open up your blocks editor. And as we start to do the blocks and get our calculations, our application really has um, more meaning than just calculating altitude. We're going to be setting up formulas and any formula that you need to calculate you could use App Inventor to create an app around that. So you could have like a mortgage calculator, um, basically anything, any kind of math problem you could put in. So we're going to start out by setting up all the global variables. So we're going to go to built-in definition and select the one that says death and variable and that'll define our global variables. So the first one we're going to define is altitude. And we're actually going to have 8. So I'm just going to copy this and then hit paste. And I've got 1, 2, 3, 4. I just need one more. There we go. Okay, so we have altitude. Our next one is going to be distance. And then ratio A1 and ratio A2. So we're setting up a variable for altitude, distance, ratio of angle 1 and ratio of angle 2. And then we're going to set one up for W set one up for X, Y, and Z. And with that we need to add in what each of these are. So we're going to go to built-in and math and get the number and let's change it to zero and then go ahead and copy it, control C and then control V and you need eight of them and we're going to plug them in to each one okay so W, X, Y, and Z are all part of our math formula that we're going to be using um, to calculate altitude and and I'll in part two I'll explain it further but basically they stand for um, different things in the formula and I'll have this formula up on the board and I will also print out some handouts so you guys have the formula but if you're in Mrs. Schultz's class you guys have the handout and you've already calculated altitude using the formula so uh, once you have that set up you guys are done for part one and then in part two we're going to be calculating um, setting up basically the rest of our blocks editor Let's go ahead and stop there and then go on to part two.